Hello. I wanted to do a nice seascape with some waves crashing against these rocks and a dark murky sky. Uh, I used charcoal and erasers. So let me show you the drawing process. I started out by using one of my tortillions with, which had some charcoal on it and I used that for sketching the wave the big wave is going to be here and the rocks are going to be around here with some of the smaller rocks down there I'm using a tutorial to sort of sketch the shape of this wave there will be some uh, smaller rocks here the water will be uh, will be white and foamy there. I'm going to draw a few smaller waves there as well. Here in this lower part of the drawing there will be some smaller waves and some more water splashing and foaming. I'm going to use charcoal dust to cover this sky and I'm going to use a brush. <clears throat> this isn't real charcoal powder, it's just the leftovers I get from sharpening my charcoal pencils. So I have to be careful with those because they don't really blend as smoothly as proper charcoal powder. But I'm using a very soft synthetic brush and I'm brushing very gently to make sure that it's even. But the process is a little bit slow so I grabbed a larger brush to see if I can speak, speed things up a little bit. Now that I've covered most of this area I'm trying to smooth it out a little bit I want it I want to remove these uh, spots occasionally I also use a tissue to dab it to remove some of the value but most of the time I just grab a brush and add a little bit of charcoal powder where needed to make the background a little more smooth and then I work with the brush to blend it and even it out. It's already starting to look a lot smoother. Initially I thought about doing something more to the sky, like adding some clouds or maybe a lightning bug. I decided to leave it as it is. Again, I'm using a uh, dirty tortilla to suggest the shape of some of these waves. There's going to be a larger one here that I'm working on now, and maybe a few smaller ones down there. Really doesn't look like much in this stage. And I have to tell you, because I don't really do seascape very often, I was kind of worried at this stage. But I need to practice drawing other things, I usually draw portraits. I 
I drew the rocks on the right using my usual approach. I lay down some of the darkest areas and a little bit of texture and then I usually use a brush to blend because that way there's still a lot of that texture left. The main thing about these lower, sm uh, smaller rocks under, under that huge wave uh, is that they have to be dark and there has to be a lot of contrast between these rocks and the background because the water around them is going to be white and foamy but you can see that I'm using my brush to add a little bit of value to the wave because I can't have it completely white I need to uh, I need to give it shape and depth so in order to do that I have to shade it like any other object. This pencil eraser, which can be sharpened, allows me to work on the detail and I'm working on the top part of the wave, adding some of the some of these drops, uh, trying to make it look like the water is spl splashing and splattering around. I sped this process, I sped the video a little bit, but this part requires a little bit of patience. Another thing I have to keep in mind is to try to uh, keep these white uh, spots uh, of irregular shape and uh, sort of try to draw them from different directions so um, that they don't look unnatural. Because the water is splashing around but I do have to keep in mind uh, where the general direction of the movement is. You can now see that I'm trying to add some structure to this wave and the approach is very similar to drawing clouds. The base of this wave is darker and then the top foamy part is lighter. But I'm generally shading the lower portions a little bit, a little bit more, and uh, going back in with the with the pencil eraser on top to draw some of these lighter areas. It can be a little bit difficult to draw water because it's kind of hard to understand uh, what you see, uh, especially with waves when they're so foamy and the water is splashing all around. I've seen a few artists who are very good at drawing or painting water. You should check out Mural Joe, I think that's the name of the user. He's a painter and he's very good at painting water and waves. But I'm working with a different medium, so my approach has to be slightly different. Plus, he's much better than me at it, he has more experience. Like I said, I tend to do portraits most of the time. But I thought that a seascape would be a nice challenge. You can see how I'm erasing the top part of that wave trying to make the 
top part, uh, top areas uh, a bit lighter, kind of like when drawing clouds. And here I added a smaller wave, and now I'm trying to define it a little bit. So like I said, I try to use shading to show the general uh, shape and the general direction of the way the water is moving. The wave is kind of mounting and preparing to crash against these rocks. And most of this, as you can see, was done with a tutelion and with a pencil eraser and a little bit of kneaded eraser but I didn't really use a charcoal pencil for drawing that wave. Now I'm working on the highlights on these rocks a little bit, trying to achieve a little more contrast, make them look a little more jagged, give them some more texture. But the, the large wave is looking good so I'm going to move on to the lower portion of the drawing. Um, so this area here are going to these are going to be lower, smaller waves, gentler waves, and this part here is going to be whiter and foamier. So again, most of the time I'm using the tortillion. I occasionally dip it into some charcoal to uh, create some darker areas. I did do a little bit of work with a pencil there, but I'm mostly using my tortillion. You see how I'm sort of moving it sideways to suggest the direction of these waves. But now I have to blend all of it in with a brush. The thing is that um, when drawing things like this, landscapes, seascapes, nature in general, it's a good thing to, it's a good idea to simplify things because it, if you try to draw every single detail it may take a while and it can get very frustrating. So the idea is to create an illusion of detail. shading the area under these under the, uh, these waves that have already crashed you can see how much shading I have to do on these lighter areas even though uh, they would appear white at first sight but there's actually a, a lot more detail and a lot more value and structure in them. I use a sharp pencil eraser to add these uh, foamy bits. Where the water is splashing. These are the lightest areas in my drawing. Without them, the waves would look kind of flat. I'm going to be 
be using that same approach to draw the splashing water around these rocks. As soon as I finish with those waves here. Uh, now I'm trying to create that splashing effect at the base of these rocks. to go crazy with it, just a few touches here and there, it's enough to entertain the eye. There's another wave here, and I'm going to shade that as well. Like I said, I thought about drawing a little more detail on the sky, but I decided that it looks better like this. I'm gonna leave it simple. This is what it looks like. It's finished. Now I have to sign it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, check out my other videos, give me a few likes. See you in the next video.